Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to King Cinema. We'll be watching all kind of movies, TV shows, uh, anything y'all want to see, you let me know down in the comments. Uh, I haven't seen most movies, I'm not going to lie to you, so any recommendations you have that you want, want to see me react to, drop them down below in the comments, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. But today, we're watching Batman The Dark Knight. Now, this is probably going to be the first video on this channel, and uh, I am a Marvel fan. That's that's what I watch. I never watched the DC movies, didn't care for them. It's Team Marvel all the way. I don't care what nobody has to say. It's Team Marvel. But I'm going to give y'all DC fans a try. I'm going to see what y'all talking about. I already watched the first Batman movie. The... I forget what the name of it. I think it might just be called The Batman. <laughs> don't, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a DC fan. I already watched the first Batman movie of the three-part series with, uh, what's that dude's name? Christian Bale playing Batman. Uh, I don't remember it that well, so I'll probably watch like a quick little summary of it. And then uh, we're going to jump right into this one. I hear this is like the best one, the best Batman of all time, Heath Ledger. Rest in peace, Heath Ledger as the Joker. But, uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll check it out. I have seen... The only information I do know of DC is I watched the Netflix show The Flash, Supergirl, and... What's the third one? Arrow. Arrow. Those are the only DC-related like related things I've actually watched thoroughly and like actually enjoyed. But I'm going to check out Batman since that's like everyone's favorite superhero in DC for some reason. Either him or Superman. So let's check it out. of movie spoiler alerts. Mm -hmm. Today we're talking about the 2005 film, Batman Begins, the first film in the Dark Knight series. So let's get started. Girl, I couldn't stand Scarecrow, that whole movie. The city of Gotham. <sighs> but it creeps me out. Bruce Wayne falls down a well and is attacked by bats. Right, right. His fear of bats. Right. Bruce is the heir to Wayne Enterprises, a massive and wealthy corporation. Later on, we see Bruce and his parents are at an opera. Where Bruce becomes frightened by a performer dressed like a bat. Yeah, with the bats, yeah. Bro, yeah, I'm scared of crows. Once outside, I'm just saying. That was some bull, bro. That's Joe Chill. Bruce is left to be raised by his butler, Alfred. Alfred! Years later, Chill is freed from prison in exchange On some bullshit. for testimony against the mafia boss, Carmine Falcone. Bruce intended to murder Chill after his release. However, Falcone has Chill killed. Bruce's childhood friend and assistant DA... Rachel berates Bruce for trying to kill Chill. Bruce hey, wouldn't you want to kill him too if he killed your parents? Bruce skills and ability to confront injustice. Bruce meets Henry Ducard, who trains him to become a member of the League of Shadows, a secret martial arts society led by Rachel Ghoul. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Rachel Ghoul is the same guy that trained Arrow, wasn't he? For that League of Shadows? Is that the same group of people? I don't remember. I'm trying to think of my Arrow. Uh, references i'm pretty sure oliver he went over there at some point during arrow to train with raz agul or one of those people and he ended up having to fight him at the end right i don't remember to train to purge his fear through his training in part through using hallucinogenic flowers after completing his training bruce learns that the league of shadows plans on destroying the city of gotham Purge it of Sounds like them. I think that's them. Gotham is beyond safe. Bruce disagrees, starts a fight with the members of the League of Shadows, and escapes. Rachel Ghoul is killed by falling debris, and Bruce saves Ducard from the flames. Bruce returns to Gotham, intent on fighting crime. He also takes an interest in his family's company, Wayne Enterprises, which is currently being run by William Earl. Bruce meets with the Morgan Freeman. Archivist. Lucius Fox. Lucius. Gives Bruce access to a variety of prototype military weapons. Yeah, he has some good gear. I ain't gonna lie to you. Bruce uses the equipment to dome the vigilante identity of Batman. Mm. He sets up his base in the bat-infested caves beneath his mansion. Batman intercepts one of Falcone's drug shipments, which gives Rachel enough evidence, along with honest police sergeant James Gordon. James Gordon, yeah. Untouchable crime lord. However, it comes to light that <laughs> That's how they got the original Bat logo. I can't stand this dude right here. Jonathan Crane, 
Found the air transfer to Arkham. He's creeping everything I've seen him in. Works as the chief administrator. Falcone threatens to expose Crane, and Crane releases a fear-inducing hallucination. That's insane. Oh my god. Oh. Look at that thing, man. Crane dons the burlap mask that his father had, identifying himself as the Scarecrow. While investigating the scarecrow, Dude, freaks me out. he becomes exposed to the drug and becomes incapacitated. I have a fear of crows, so I understand this whole fear of bat thing. Look the same. The toxin. It is revealed that the scarecrow has slowly been putting hallucinogen into the water stream. That's right. Which will become activated by some stolen technology. Batman has three more antidotes, where he gives one to Rachel, one to the sergeant Jim Gordon, and one to be analyzed and mass produced. Ducard appears at Bruce's third. The real Ra's al Ghul. And it is revealed that he is actually Ra's al Ghul. Ra's al Ghul, whatever. Bruce reveals that he is behind the Scarecrow, and they plan on using a microwave device that they stole in order to activate the fear toxin in the water supply to put Gotham in a state of panic, causing its citizens to kill each other out of fear. Ra's sets the Wayne Manor on fire and leaves Bruce to die, but Bruce is saved again by Alfred. Alfred's a real one, bro. I... Loaded onto the That's a cool sidekick, too. Batman is he old. To stop the rail before the device can be activated. Batman refuses to kill Raish, but he chooses instead to not save him as the train explodes. Yeah, let him die. Bruce gains what? Rachel He's going to kill everybody here. Uses her love as she decides she cannot be with him while he is the Batman. Bruce takes out here saving lives. Wayne Enterprises. And makes Fox the new head of the company. Yeah, that was clean. I remember that part. And shows Batman the bat signal as he mentions a new criminal who leaves Joker playing cards. Behind Ooh! Him, which helps lead into the next film. Hey, hey, hey hold on. All right, too much information. <laughs> we finna watch that right now. We're going to check out Batman the Dark Knight, right? Is that, is that what it's called? I believe so. Ah. <sighs> I might drop this as its own separate video, just to, like, me recapping the first one, so y'all know I have seen it and everything, so my reaction to that. And then I'll drop The Dark Knight. Is it, is it The Dark? I don't know the name of these movies, man. What is it? The Dark Knight, yes. The Dark Knight, I'm gonna watch that full video. We'll, I'll react to that, and it, it might be a separate video I'll post. That's just a quick little snippet of what happened in Batman Begins. Uh... I'll probably leave the link for the the Batman for Batman the Dark Knight down below in the description. Uh, all my links will be there. You know, Instagram, YouTube. I have a second gaming channel. Y'all wanna go subscribe to that? That'll, that'll help me out. Uh, I'll leave all that stuff down below. Uh, yeah, man. We're gonna go on this DC journey as a Marvel fan. Uh, I'll tell y'all what I think. I don't think they got. They can't really mess with Marvel. Hey, that, that's just my opinion. But, you know, I'm going to give it a fair shot. I, I haven't seen the movie, so I can't really give a valid argument. But we're going to watch them, and we're going we gonna to see what goes on, man. So uh, I'll see you all in the next one, man.